Hello everyone, my name is Ben Wigman, field agronomist for Bex Hybrids in Southern Illinois. I'm at our Effingham PFR location here today, standing in front of what's called the weed zapper. So this weed zapper is a relatively new piece of equipment when it comes to weed management out here, okay? So what we have behind me, to my left over here is a generator. This generator mounts on the three point um, of a tractor and this is the big generator and there's a cord hooked up to it that sends power all the way to the front unit where the actual weed zapping occurs, okay? So how does this weed zapper occur? So there's a bar that goes along the front of this. That is actually where the current comes through. You'll notice there are some coulters at the bottom. So that coulter is actually what grounds the system here. So in order for this system to be effective, we have to come in contact with the main stem of that water hemp or whatever weed plant we're trying to kill and it must be above that crop canopy okay so if our soybeans are taller than our weeds this may not be the most effective tool now what are we doing it here in our herbicide insight area at effingham so we're looking at this from a, um, a non-gmo scenario to where um, you know we don't have any herbicide tolerant soybeans out here and we're also looking at it from an organic standpoint also so in our non-gmo settings we're looking at um, the combination of the weed zapper with maybe some chemical, maybe like a dual, a residual style herbicide, in addition to maybe some Cobra, a PPO style herbicide where we're gonna get some burning action, um, some um, after the fact that weeds emerge, maybe some action there in combination with this. We're also looking at the weed zapper in combination with a row crop cultivator. So no chemical termination, no use of herbicides at all. So look and what happens if we come in with this thing and then we row crop cultivate. We're looking at multiple different scenarios in that non-GMO study, but we're also looking that, at that in our organic studies also. We're really interested to see what effects the weed zapper does have, especially when we're um, combating all these herbicide resistance. And something that really excites me is if we get those weed escapes out there and as we get more herbicide resistance, this could potentially be a very good rescue tool that we could have if we get those escapes above that crop canopy to help us eliminate um, those weeds that we may have out in the field. I can tell you another thing that really excites me about this is when we do have effective weed control with this system, it kills that plant on, on contact. It's instant gratification, which is something very cool about this piece of equipment. I look forward to seeing what the results are here with this piece of equipment. Stay tuned for more information and we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you.